What's up, Mets fans? Welcome back. Talking Mets and Rob. How's everybody doing? Before I get started talking about the Lindor contract extension situation, don't forget, guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit on that like button. If you enjoy all my, all my videos, all my content, want to see more, want to get notified when I post my videos and when I go live, hit on that subscribe button, everybody. All right, guys. So the situation that's going on with the Francisco Lindor extension with the New York Mets. Mets fans, what is Sandy Alderson doing? First, when they first made the trade, he said that he would have been he would be okay with the players they gave up if Lindor was only with the Mets for this one year. Two, the second thing he said, and the second thing more than he said, he did. He knew that Francisco Lindor did not accept the Indians' offer of two hundred plus million dollars when Lindor was looking for a starting point of three hundred. Why in the world would Sandy Alderson look for a deal and think that Lindor and his agent would actually bite? At the f bite at the offer of under three hundred million. Why would you start him? Whatever the, whatever the number was, we really never knew exactly what the number was that Alderson did. We do know that it was under three hundred million. Even if you started off with two hundred ninety million, what? Why would you sit down at a table with other people in the front office and say this will be a good offer to start with? That don't make sense. We know that he was not going to take an offer like that. Sandy Alderson, for some reason, doesn't want to spend nobody's money. He had the excuse of the Will Ponds. Now he has the richest owner in baseball. Now he's penny pinching on what little bit of money to save on Lindor when you basically gave up all your freaking shortstops to get Lindor. So what is the issue? Why is it so hard? And then a week ago, we heard Lindor in the press conference when some when in the post game press conference when he was asked about have you started talking with the Mets about a contract, he said yes. And then somebody else asked him, "How is it going?" Well, the talks are not that serious right now. We're just talking. Okay, that's that's fine. And now Lindor, yesterday, when he was asked the question again, said. Oh, the talks are still not serious. We are one week away from opening day, Mets fans. One week. What the hell are they doing? I, I just don't understand. Talks are not serious? When are they going to get serious? Because Lindor is not negotiating when the season starts. So that means we got seven days until, until opening day to get this deal done. It will be an outright disaster. If the New York Mets do not extend Lindor before the season, it would be a joke. It would be a total misconception of Sandy Alderson and reading his own market with Lindor. You have exclusive rights with Lindor to negotiate a contract, and you're going to low blow Lindor with. An offer under three hundred million, and then we hear Lindor say that talks are not that serious. This is the second time he said that, and he was not happy yesterday when he was asked that question. When he was talking about, it, you saw his reaction, the way he was. It was it was disgusting. I just don't understand it. Why would you want to play around with this guy's emotions and piss him off to the point where he might not even want to sign anymore? Why not him test free agency? What's the big deal? He's going to get a lot of money anyway. It, it just don't make no sense to me. It really does not make no sense to me, guys. I just don't understand what Sandy Olderson is doing. And you can clearly tell Steve Cohen has very little to do with this. Because I can tell you right now, if Steve Cohen had his hand in the cookie jar, as much as we all think he does, this deal would have got done already, guys. Sandy Alderson is doing what Sandy Alderson always does. 
He penny pinches to the point where he he chew he has a number for a player and never goes beyond that. And that's my biggest problem with Sandy Olds. And it is coming to fruition here with the Lindor contract negotiations. I felt very confident over the last couple of weeks that the Mets were going to get it done. I just felt like Sandy Olson is not that stupid. He figures that he realizes what he has in front of him. He traded away players. If, if you're so worried about paying somebody, why would you even bother giving players away in a deal and then have to give away money anyway? Why don't you just wait until next year and deal with Jimenez and Rosario on this team and sign Lindor in the offseason or sign Baez or sign Correa or sign Story? Why are you going through so much of a hassle of making this trade when it was a great trade? Nobody would say otherwise. But if you don't extend Lindor, there's a big possibility that you might not get a shortstop. What happens if the Cubs decide to keep Baez and Trevor Story signs an extension with the Rockies? Correa maybe will be with the Astros. But I don't want Correa. If I have to choose between Lindor or Correa, I want Lindor. Did Sandy Olson think when he traded for Lindor that he had a bad season on a, a not a type of Lindor situation season last year? So we thought he would get a um a team friendly deal, so to speak, where he would save a little bit of money. If he thought that, then Sandy Olson should not be running this ball club because that is another problem with Sandy Olson. He can't read the market. He never makes good free agent sign-ins. He always has an issue with paying a player. With A player might be paid a little bit more than what people expect, but teams don't go in. You, you see the, the good teams in baseball realize that you have to spend a little bit more for a player you want to get that guy on your team. It's just the way it is. Baseball has been like that. It's very rare that you see a DJ LeMayu and Yankee situation where – the Yankees wanted LeMayu, and LeMayu did not want to go anywhere else. So they figured out a deal that worked out for both of them. And LeMayu did that. When everybody expected him to get over $100 million, and he didn't get that. But LeMayu wanted to be a Yankee. It was a mutual interest. I'm not too sure that Lindor has any interest or mutual interest when it comes to Lindor staying. Would he like to stay? Yes. Pay me well. But Lindor has all the bargaining on the table right now. He has everything on the table. He doesn't, he, he doesn't have to worry about signing with the Mets. If he doesn't sign with the Mets, he knows somebody else is going to give him this money. Sandy Olsen is doing a terrible job. You can't have this player in Lindor get an X every freaking day of a contract extension, and then he get a reaction like we got yesterday with Lindor. He did not seem happy when he answered that question. Talks are not that serious. Well, what the hell is going on? What are you doing? What are you, what are you, you, you sticking out a number, which Senor Olsen does every time, except for Bauer. He just, he, he clearly wanted Bauer and did not care what he was going to give Bauer, which is an absolute joke. Lindor is a, is one of the best players in baseball. He's probably a top three shortstop in the league and you're playing games with this guy when at some point he might just say to his agent, you know what? I don't care. Let me just play the season out. Let me become a free agent. But on top of that, you're going to have questions throughout the season, which you don't want no distractions with this team, but you're going to get it now if the Mets don't sign Lindor. And that's what we're going to have to deal with when we should be worrying about winning the winning winning games and winning the division and making the playoffs. We have to worry about this nonsense. It makes no sense. I'm sorry, but Sandy Alderson is not the guy for this job. I've said that over and over and over again. Steve Cohen did it to get the votes for the owner. Sandy Alderson should not be anywhere near this Mets team anymore. He is a money ball GM, money ball type of guy. Sandy Alderson thinks he's smarter than everybody else and thinks that if he can win his way, then nobody should tell him otherwise. And that is going the cheap route, not spending the money that you do have this time. So there's no excuse. Sandy Alderson is a joke. 
And many people might not like that opinion that I have with Sandy Olson. Sandy Olson is an absolute joke. Even if he gets the deal done at the the last minute, this should have never went down to the last minute. There's no need for it. You got the money. There is no excuse anymore. Get the deal done, Sandy. This is an absolute joke. Met fans and media should not be worried about the Mets and Lindor. And then we have to see this go through the season and have these questions asked in every city he goes to. And probably on opening day, when you just want to talk about the game, it's a joke. I'm sorry. Francisco Lindor should have been signed already. And Alderson is making a mockery of this team. And he is misreading everything that he has done this year. He's misread the market when it came to Springer. Misread the market when it came to Bauer. Misread every aspect of this offseason. And then he's making a huge mistake thinking that he can play these games with Lindor and Lindor is going to bite. And it's not going to happen. And then when you lose out on signing Lindor and he does not come back to the Mets and probably won't even negotiate with the Mets at all during the season, which he said, there is no guarantee that you're going to get a shortstop. I don't care how many guys are on the market. That doesn't mean you, what are you gonna what are you gonna save ten million dollars to sign Javier Baez? It makes no sense. You got the guy and you got exclusive rights to negotiate with him. Use it. Don't wait until the last minute. There's no need for this. You start less than three hundred million makes no sense. You know he wasn't gonna accept that offer. So you wasted media's time. You're wasting fans' time and you're wasting Lindor's time. And at some point, Lindor's gonna get pissed off and he's not gonna sign. Don't burn the bridges, Sandy. Let's go. It's ridiculous. Guys, thank you for listening about this Lindor update. Sandy Olsen needs to get it done, guys. He just has to get it done. He needs to stop playing games. Thank you for listening to my opinion, guys. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Hit on that like button. If you enjoy all my content, all my videos, want to see more, want to get notified when I post my videos, when I go live, guys, you know what to do. Hit on that subscribe button, everybody. I want to thank you guys for watching. And as always, let's go next.